Now we have an interesting runway here. I'll say. I have a couple interesting runways. <laughs> Six of them. Six of them. Because our runway has our run up area over here. Goes out to the runway. And then there's these big white stripes. And the numbers. Okay? This is called the displaced threshold. This whole portion of the runway from here back cannot be used for landing. can be used for taxi and takeoff, but not for landing. All right? So when you plan your landing, your touchdown, somewhere <coughs> around there is your optimum, what you're shooting for. Okay? Don't land on this side of the displaced threshold. Okay? Down the center of the runway, White lines. Help keep you on center. At every taxiway or taxiway exit, there's going to be a yellow line that goes like that to show you where the taxiway exits are. All right? There's also going to be signs. Down the center of the taxiway is a yellow line. So the line down the center of the runway is white. The line down the center of the taxiway is yellow. Taxiways are marked with blue lights. Runways are marked with white lights. Except for right here is going to be a green one. To show you where the beginning of the landable portion of the runway is. And at the very end of the runway, red. Red. So if you're cruising down this runway and you're at about 80 knots, and you're still on the ground and you get to right there where the red light is. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> you're certainly on a runway. All right. Pull back. <laughs> At that point, pulling back isn't going to do you any good. You're pretty much done. So if you land on a strip with a yellow line down the center, what did you land on? Taxiway. <laughs> Has it ever happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you have, like, a runway, and then the taxiway off of the runway is just as wide as the runway, it's mistaken as a runway on a very, re not regular basis, but people do it. It's like, oh, cool. Multiple runways. Stripey white versus <coughs> stripey yellow. Yeah. I'm going to land on the yellow one on the right. I can see it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to follow the line. There's no breaks in it. So we have <coughs> Massies and Pappies. Yes. So the green light, the red light, uh, where is that red light in? Uh, Comparison to the threshold for the other side runway, is it before the, after the, because on the, but when it's at the end of this runway, it's the beginning of the other runway, right? How does it work? Hmm. Uh, displaced no, the, re the red light only sh shines one direction. <coughs> oh, right. Okay? So if you're, you know, the runway's right here, the red lights are right here shining this way. If you're coming in to land on this runway, you don't see the red lights. Okay? <coughs> that would suck. <laughs> you'll see, what you'll see is you'll see green at the end of that displaced threshold. Yeah, but this way there is no displaced threshold. So there's no, all there is is, is white lights. Oh, there's only green for displaced only threshold? Only green for the displaced threshold because what you have, the whole runway is lit up. Okay, you have this whole displaced section back here. 
Well, there's still white lights here to mark the runway. And then green, where the usable portion actually starts for landing. So they have to be able to identify, okay, you can touch down from this point on. So they put the green lights there, because there's going to be run white lights before that. You can still use it for taxi and takeoff. What if the green lights are turned out? Ooh, better hope they never are. One more thing about a runway. You get to the end of the runway, and there's these little gems, chevrons. Don't go on it. There will be a nice line there, a couple of yellow chevrons. This is an overrun area. Okay, aircraft comes down, loses its brakes, can't stop, it hits this. It's very porous concrete. All right? It's like, looks like a sponge. What happens, the airplane hits this and just sinks in and stops, it stops the aircraft. All right? And if you inadvertently taxi onto that, you won't taxi out of it. You just go, eh. And destroy your prop in the process. Destroy the prop, tear up the landing gear, and have to pay to have it repaired. <laughs> That's the good part. So, chevrons are an overrun. Do not overrun onto them accidentally. Unless you're prepared, prepared to whip out a big checkbook. Big, big, big check. Happy, four lights. You'll see these when you're coming in to land on 27 right, 27 left. Okay? They are one of two colors, either red or white. That's pretty much what you want to see. Two reds, two whites. So that means that you are on the optimum glide path to the runway. All right, and all this glide path is, is to keep you from hitting the houses and the trees that are out on the end of the runway, all right? If you see three reds, you are a little bit low on the glide path. Four reds, you're way low, all right? On the other hand, white, 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 red. Now you're a little bit high. Way high. Way high. Way, 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 way high. <laughs> Personally, that's what I like. I like to have three whites. A little extra altitude. I'd much rather have too much than not enough, because I can always lose it when I get over the runway. How long is the runway? Uh, 27 right? Pardon me? How long is the 27 right runway? 50, what is it, 58? Pretty close to 5,800 feet. I can dig the book out if you like. No. Nope. Vassy is two, either one or two lights. Runway's coming up like this. They're over each other. All right, you'll see one and then the other. Okay? And they're basically the same thing. They are going to be either white or red. <coughs> and that's what you want. Okay? One row of them, or one of them to be red, one of them to be white. And it means the same thing if you've got all four or two. Say you've just got the two like this. Both of them are red, you're too low. Both of them are white, you're too high. A red and a white is exactly what you want to see.